Chowcha Chowcha Chows, Lancer Joe here. Welcome back to another week of VWPL, the Western Pokemon League. It is week four. We are taking on the Detroit Terror Vaults. Oh, this match. Oh, and their coach, Nacho. But uh, if you are a fan of the Edmonton Emporions, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more battles from the WPL. And of course, go and check out all the other part, all the other people who are taking part in the WPL. I will leave a link to the WPL's Twitter in the description, so you can go follow that as well. And also, whilst you're around, consider supporting Red Nose Day because. I am by wearing a red nose in every video that I make over the next month. And, uh, you know, support it if you can. Anyway, so let's get on with today's matchup. So as we can see, I have bought Origin, my Mew, Tank Abbott, my Rhyperia. Uh, my time, my man time is making his debut here. We also have uh, Mount Moon, the Clefable. We have Sophie back on the team. This is a tree scarf variant of Sophie. And of course we have James V. A Mega Venusaur who has been really good for us. And he has bought Bicephalon. Oh my god, this thing is scary as hell. We have Digdub Trio, scary as hell, very quick and very powerful as well. We have Gyarados, can be quite scary to deal with as well, but Cat doesn't really have a lot of defenses, so can be dealt with really well. Uh, we also have Garvantuit. Oh, scary mon with sticky webs. Very fast, very capable of living moves, but also very capable of being very quick and getting the sticky webs up, which means, in other words, ouch. We also have uh, rock setters in, for example, Mega Aerodactyl. Thing, uh, this thing is as quick as hell, and of course, look, has amazing biting and strong moves. Also learns things like rock slide. An earthquake. Oh my god, this thing is scary. And then we have Metagross. Yep, another scary, another scary quick one on his team. A lot of speed is in this draft, and it is hard to deal with. I have some speed in my draft too, but you know, he has a lot of speed in his draft. Anyway, let's get on with today's matchup. So he starts off with Bicephalon. I wasn't thinking he would actually start off with this thing. He goes for the Shadow Ball. It does a lot of damage to Tank Abbott. I was thinking he would settle. Honestly, I was thinking he'd start with Garvantuit. He did not start with Garvantuit. And it, I paid for it there by starting with Tank Abbott. Here I switch it to Sophie. I went for the... I'm going for the foul plays because the intimidate drop and of course also foul plays is actually really useful on uh bicephalon i go for the foul plays again because i knew i was quicker and i literally destroy of his mega gyarados uh, of his gyarados here i switch into james to take the hit of uh, bug buzz he switches out into his metagross here I go into my Mega of Evolution. I do not have Earthquake on this set, so I went for the Sludge Bomb, thinking he might stay with Gavantuit, and he didn't. Here I switch out into uh, uh, Mew to take a hit, but like literally, it was not really about Mew taking a hit, it was about uh, trying to deal with this thing. Here we go for the Fire Blast on Bicephalon. Not a lot of damage done with that, but it does take him into the, yellow, the lower yellows into my uh into uh sophie i was but like sophie can't take that hit maybe i should have gone into mount moon maybe i should have gone into mount moon there and mount moon would have definitely taken the fire blast hit he would have been taking it if i got if he got the beast boost sadly though because mount moon can't take a beast boost hit here we're going to my time to try and do something oh hp electric <laughs> and he dies to the life orb damage so, yeah, not really much I could do about that. Life Orb by Cephalon. Oh, my God, scary as hell. Here he goes into his Metagross. He misses his Medium Ash uh, uh, on Rhyperia, which I'm so happy about. The Earthquake didn't do as much damage because of the Sugar Berry. It could have done much more damage if there wasn't a Sugar Berry in effect. Here, and uh, my Medium Ash hits finally, and I'm dead. 
I go for the Mew. And I go for the Fire Blast. Takes down Metagross. Oos. And that was really good. Here he goes into Dig Trio. I don't really have a lot for Dig Dug Trio. I'm not really equipped with the things to deal with Dig Dug Trio. And Earthquake takes down Mew. And here comes in James. Earthquake does do some damage to Dig Dug Trio. Uh, to me. Earthquake does some damage to Dig Dug Trio and literally takes it out. So I guess I did have Earthquake actually. I've totally forgot about that. I just wasn't able to pull it off at times. And the Mega Aerodactyl, Z Fly. Yeah, I'm not taking that. Okay. Yeah. I made some really bad switches. And that's really what killed me. Uh, that's what's destroyed me that time. I made some bad switches. I didn't think about what tanks hit. And honestly, I should have dealt with that. Uh, I should have dealt with the Garvantuit a, a hell of a lot more better than I did. I should have dealt with Bicephalon a hell of a lot more better than I did. I probably should have started the match with Mega Persh uh, with Persian instead, like I've been doing for the past couple of weeks, once you get the party shot out. But, uh, you know, if I thought about those things, I probably wouldn't have, uh, you know, the match wouldn't have happened the way it did. So maybe it was for the best in the end. A 2-0, but, you know, we go on. And, uh, my fourth loss in a row, my God. Anyway, if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Don't be upset like I was at the time. Don't be upset about losing, because the fact is, I'm here to learn, I'm here to get battle at battling, and I'm here to just try and take this as an enjoyment i'm not here to win i'm just here to learn that's all it is anyway if you enjoyed leave a like comment and subscribe i am lantern joe if you really want to you can go and support red nose day donation link in the description below and of course i will leave links to the wpl's twitter as well where you can find out about all the other matches that took place this week but until next time i am lantern joe and i am out see you again